Hello students of class 11, uh, we have already seen that um, um, Yahoo was very offended uh, with uh, Michael Cassio as Othello had promoted him to the rank of a lieutenant. Uh, he thought that he was uh, more competent and uh, he deserved uh, this position of the lieutenant. And for this reason, he hated both Cassio and Othello. And then he plotted revenge against um, Othello, uh, Cassio and Desdemona in one common ruin. And um, when, uh, you know, the, there was a mood of a holiday in Cyprus, from that day itself, he started laying his... Uh, plans okay or rather vicious plans and what he did was uh, he made Cassio over drunk which was a serious offense for a officer on guard and then uh, he um, exaggerated the whole thing to Othello who means and Othello at once dismissed Cassio from his position and that was the first success uh, of uh, Iago. Cassio, whom this misfortune had entirely sobered, now lamented to a seeming friend Iago. Reputation, reputation, reputation. Oh, I have lost my reputation. I have lost the immortal part of myself and what remains is bestial. My reputation, Iago, my reputation. He despised himself. He thought how he could ask the general for his place again. Yago advised him to apply to the lady to mediate for him with her lord. So uh, Cassio thought that Yago is a very trusted person or a trusted friend. And so uh, he said that, uh, look, Yago, my reputation is gone. So if my reputation is gone, it's like uh, there's no point in living because what remains of me is all, uh, you know, mm, an animal. So, <clears throat> uh, what is the way in which I can get back my position? So, very craftily, Yago says that if you really want your position, you should go and plead before Desdemona and ask Desdemona to uh, plead uh, on behalf of you to Othello uh, to give back your position. Uh, so, uh, give back your position. And uh, why Iago said that? Because he said that uh, I think uh, if Desdemona asks for anything, then Othello will never refuse. Cassio did as Iago advised him. Desdemona promised him that she would be the solicitor, that is the lawyer, with her lord. She immediately set out for this cause in so earnest and pretty manner that Othello, who was mortally offended with Cassio, could not put her off. So, um, as soon as um, Iago advised um, Cassio, Cassio immediately went to uh, Desdemona and started, I mean, uh, told her everything and asked her to uh, plead for him. And Desdemona, um, when uh, she met Othello, uh, she also, you know, placed uh, Cassio's case before him. Now, Othello was very, um, you know, mortally offended that he was determined not to uh, reinstate um, Cassio back in his position under any circumstances. But um, uh, hearing the words of um, Desdemona, he was um, convinced uh, to a certain extent. When he pleaded um, delay because it was too soon to pardon such an offender, she insist insisted that it should be the next night or the next morning uh, to that at farthest. So um, Othello said that, okay, what you're saying, uh, I accept, but I cannot... Uh, reinstate uh, him in his position so soon uh, that would not be correct on my part and Desdemona said that what are you saying look I, I, I cannot take any delay 
either you do it tomorrow uh, sorry uh today at night or at the max uh the next morning means tomorrow morning um i cannot wait any more than that but <clears throat> then she showed how penitent and humble poor cassio was and that his offense did not deserve um, punishment of such magnitude so Desdemona said that look uh cassio is really um no uh, repentant that he know uh, he has realized his mistake and he feels guilty for what he has done and i don't think uh, it is desdemona who thinks who does not think that um who did not think that um uh, cassio's fault was uh, such that he should deserve such a punishment uh, so that's what Uh, she tells um, othello but othello is not fully convinced so she said what my lord that i should have so much to plead for cassio michael cassio that came a courting for you and often times when uh, i have spoken in dispraise of you has taken your part i count this but a little thing to ask of you So Desdemona is saying that have you forgotten everything? Have you forgotten that this is the very Michael Cassio who was a go between us during our days of courtship, and sometimes when you sent uh, Michael Cassio to uh, court on your behalf to uh, convince me about your love uh, uh, on your behalf, uh, when I have uh, spoken against you. Uh, Michael Cassio has always defended you, so uh, you are punishing this person, and you are thinking such a lot of reinstating this person. Uh, I think I have asked a very small thing from you. When I mean to try your love, indeed, I shall ask a weighty matter. Othello could not deny such a pleader. He promised to receive Michael Cassio again in his favour, but only requested Desdemona to leave the time to him. So. uh now um uh, he say uh, desdemona says that you know i've asked for a very little thing if i want to test your love i will ask for something more serious uh, than this so hearing all this othello could not uh, refuse desdemona and he got fully convinced but what he said that okay i promise you that i will reinstate him but leave the date and time to me that i cannot tell you right now uh so um what we find is that um desdemona is successful in convincing othello to give cassio his uh to give back cassio his position we stop here today we'll do the rest of it in the next class thank you